I'm your man, Dennis Pitsenberger. We're here at the 12th annual Edelbrock Car Show in beautiful Torrance, California. Let's check out some people, some food, some fun. Let's go take a peek. One of my favorite parts of the Edelbrock Car Show each and every year is to wander through the employee parking lot. Now these guys, we already know, build, produce, and make some of the best parts in the USA, but we also got some great cars built by like my friend here, Rob Simon. Now this 67 Firebird just got completed, but tell us all about it. Bought it as a shell seven years ago and built the engine in my garage. It's a 417 stroke Dell S3 with one of our Edelbrock superchargers. It's got a T56 Magnum. It's got a uh, aftermarket subframe with coilovers, Corvette A-arms. It's got an independent rear suspension. All right, with any build, there's always your favorite part and the part that drove you crazy. Tell me both. All right, well, my favorite part was definitely building the engine. I'm a powertrain engineer by trade, but uh, you know, all the cosmetic stuff and fitting body panels, I, I know my limitations. <laughs> there is one little cool part that you teamed up with another Edelbrock employee for. Talk about that. Yeah, Eric uh, manages our advertising department, and I asked him to kind of design me a cool uh, logo for my fuel door. He combined the classic Pontiac Arrowhead logo with a, a sleek billet fuel door for the pro touring look, and it came out great. Everybody, it would not be the Edelbrock Car Show if I didn't come see my friend Rodney Bingham from the Hot Rodders of Tomorrow. What's going on today, my friend? How you doing, Dennis? Uh, we're, uh, this is our eighth or ninth year here at the Edelbrock Car Show, and we've got uh, 16 teams that are vying for their chance to go to the Seaman Show or the PRI Show at the Hot, Hot Rodders of Tomorrow Dual Championship. The word on the horizon might be a swap to LS. Is that something that could come true? The standard small block Chevy is what we will always use for the, the, the high schools, uh, but we are going to add a LS college version. Well, you know, one of the things that I love about the Hot Rodders of Tomorrow, Rodney, is the fact that, like, like myself when I was young, you know, I went to three hours of automotive class in the high school, and you guys are doing your part to make sure that young people are introduced into this great industry that we love so much, and we thank you for that. Absolutely. Thank you for stopping by. Everybody, we had to pick out a couple great cars here at the Edelbrock Car Show, and I've got Chuck Schauwecker in a 1934 called Rodriguez, and it's got a very cool story behind it. Chuck, tell me that story. Well, it was built in a hot rod shop called Paradise Road in Nagoya, Japan, by Janishi Shamadera, and his idols were George Barris and Ed Roth, and this is his creation. October, I'll have it 12 years, and I bought it directly off of Janishi. He brought it over here in January 05, cruised it until October, had to go back, uh, didn't want to spend five grand to ship it back. I heard it was for sale. I looked at it 15 minutes, made him an offer, and that's how I got the car. Oh, well, there you go. Now, it's going to be probably a hard question to answer, but Chuck, what's your favorite part about the car? There's not really a favorite part. It's when you put something together and it just all flows. Well, it's a great car. It's a beautiful car, and thanks so much for bringing it out to the car show. It's always my pleasure. One of the great parts of this year's Edelbrock Car Show is a special relationship between Factory 5 and Edelbrock on this very cool MK4 from Factory 5. Now I got Rob Simon here to talk about that. Take us through the relationship between the two companies and coming up with this great combination. Well, sure. So I called Dave Smith when we uh, were in, in the market for a uh, test car for our new 785 horse Coyote crate engine, supercharged crate engine, and uh, we were just looking for a mule. And uh, Dave wouldn't accept that. He said, no, no, you need something that represents Edelbrock. And I have the, just the thing in my garage. It was his personal car. And uh, he made it happen for us. He took the whole thing down to the, to the frame. He refurbished the whole thing, new brakes, new shocks, new tires. And uh, here it is today. Well, tell us a little bit about that crate engine because that's going to be a great addition to the family that Edelbrock already puts out to the public for the crate engine choices. Yeah, so it's a complete engine, comes with the supercharger, comes with all the accessories for the supercharger, harness, computer, completely tuned. It's a great package. It's basically bolted in, hook up power and ground and your key on and you're on your way. All right, Dave Smith, the head honcho of the Grand Poobah of Factory 5. Uh, you guys build some really cool cars, but my question really is, why team up with Edelbrock? Why was that something that was so special for you? All of our partners, Ford, Coney, Will, we've got great corporate partners. The horsepower wars are on. So, guy can go buy a crate motor, but now Edelbrock gives us to the next level. So now, if you don't have 700 horsepower, you're not in the game. So now we got 800 horsepower, so we're in the game in a big way. What's, what's next on tap? I mean, where does it end with these cars? Is there a point where even you say, this is just silly? 
No, because, you know, <laughs> I like to cut my butter with a chainsaw, you know? It's like what we do. 800 horsepower, bolted on power. This is the golden age of cars. If you think about all the great legendary cars, we're in the best time to build your own custom, and Edelbrock makes it easy.